here we are this is what 315 PSP at games look like um, yeah there'll be about another 40 odd I want to get so it'll be about 350 or odd by the time I finish collecting games I want hi youtubers and gamers and I'm back and today I am with a collection video uh, I'll be looking at my Sony PSP collection and in total I have about Oh, loads uh, about 315 odd games for about another 40 games on my want list uh, so I'll probably do about splits over probably about three videos in total I imagine um, and uh, but before I get started going through videos I wanted to give a shout out to Matt and Jalen uh, Matt and Jalen uh, do check out their channel I'll put the link down below uh, Matt's an absolute gentleman I um I have to applaud the guy um, uh, he um, did a, like, a sort of random prize draw on his last one of his last videos, and perchance I won the prize, which was the um, Legend of Zelda Zelda Two. It was, and uh, on the on the NES, and uh, it was quite happy to ship aboard and everything else really. But we were both of us a bit worried about whether or not it would get lost or not, and the cost of shipping. So he just said to us that uh, he will just transfer the value of the game to me by PayPal, which didn't need to do but he did and he actually transferred a little bit more than what the game's worth in the States he sort of transferred more closer to what it's worth in the UK so um, he didn't need to do that I was absolutely gobsmacked the guy's a complete gentleman like I said and thumbs up Matt that's a really first class mate I really appreciate that it just shows that on YouTube with our little community there are some really really decent people out there and Matt you're definitely one of them mate so please check out this channel below but um, but I better get on with uh, what this video is about, and that's obviously looking at my PSP collection. So first of all, um, I'll try to do this in a rough, rough alphabetical order. Uh, the first couple of games are letters. So first is 50 cents bulletproof, uh, based on the rapper, which I believe has gone into bankruptcy. He has. He's probably spent too much money on drugs and women and party, no doubt. And this other game is 300. Uh, this game's obviously based on the movie. The movie's first class. Um, uh, the type of filming was quite unique at the time, even though it's been done to death since. But it's definitely a, a good movie, and it's quite a good, not bad game actually. It's got the soundtrack, same music from the, the film in the game. And some of the levels in the game are a little bit tricky and a little bit challenging, but I enjoyed this. Um, I highly recommend that one, 300. Okay, Caitlin? Caitlin, you go say hello to the camera? Oh, that's Caitlin. Being very quiet, she is. Oh, bless. She's not always this quiet, believe me. Oh yeah, Kate then. Mm. Okay, next. Um, some of the Namco Ace Combat games. These are first class. These games are, and they actually get, you know keep their money. So this is Ace Combat Joint Assault. S Skies of Deception. And uh, a similar type game, but obviously by Sega, based on the cl classic games from the Master System and Mega Drive. Afterburner Black Vulcan. Uh, this game is actually quite very, very good. Actually, I recommend that. That's why you see it. Not too expensive as well. Okay, uh, I've got to mention that like, well, with all my, all my games, all these games are all boxed and complete with all, all the manuals. Okay, uh, Alien Syndrome. Um, this is a remake of an uh, older game which I think came out on. Uh, now, was it on the NES or was it? Am, am I thinking of the Alien one? on the Atari 2600, I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's based on an older game. Uh, Alien vs Predator Requiem. It's an okay game. If you love Aliens like I do, you'll probably like it, but don't have too high expectations. Okay, uh, some of the Ape Academy mini games. Um, so Ape, Ape Academy. Ape Academy 2. And this comes with a little, they call it a banana split screen. A little bit of cardboard screen, uh, split screen which you put on there. You can probably just make it out on the video. So you just divide your PSP screen in two, you do. Uh, Ape Escape P as well. Okay. Alright, we have Army of Two, 40th Day. This is new and sealed. I haven't got around to playing this. So I played it on a PS2. It's like a 
basically you control two counters, which you, um, it's not a two player game, so you just control two counters, which you, t you have to switch from one to the other, and with that on each other, so, uh, it's okay, nothing too special, but it's alright. Okay, um, another RPG type game, Astonishia, Astonishia, Astonishia Story. And um, based on the the movie, the movie is very good actually. Uh, but obviously, it's you know it's much older than the movie. In it, but the sort of the IP is, of course, Astro Boy the video game. So as I said, this is derived from the HT type Blu-ray movie. But obviously, Astro Boy's been around for donkey's years. Uh, I've not got, got around to playing that yet, so that's all new and sealed. Uh, rock steady game, beta rater. Uh, it's I think you, you know like a DJ type um, game. It is. I'm giving it a go. Uh, Beowulf, Beowulf, the game. Um, yeah, I don't have any high high hopes for that one. Uh, classic fighter uh, by people who bought us. Um, Disc is it Disgaea? Did they do Disgaea? Or am I thinking Dynasty Warriors? I don't know. Uh, Blaze Blue. Maybe it's Guilty Gear they did, I'm thinking of. Uh, and Blaze Blue, uh, Blaze Blue Continuum Shift, is it? It's Continuum Shift 2. New Sealed Blood Bowl. Um, an alternative take on uh, American football. I guess it's a bit like Mutant, uh, Mutant League football, I suppose. But obviously updated graphics and so forth, based on the old British Warhammer game uh, by uh, a, a British game company called Games Workshop. So everyone in the UK would have heard that, but unless you're into role-playing game and Warhammer in the States, you've probably never heard of them. Okay, um, yeah, this is playing in the background. Uh, Breath of Fire 3. I uh, got this a few years ago, it wasn't too expensive, but um, like, you know, a lot of Breath of Fire games, you've got to pick them up because they always tend to go up in value. Uh, Brothers in Arms D Day. Um, I don't mind the old um, World War II shooters on the PSP, but I'm not going around to playing that one. Brunswick Pro Bowling. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure why you both would bother choosing to play a bowling game on a PSP really, um, unless you're absolutely mad on bowling, but I picked it up because it was cheap. Oh we have to excuse me. Sorry about the interruption, it was, it was the old wife on the phone. They do interrupt, don't they? Okay, anyway, um, a cricket game, Brian Lara, um, 2007. Um, I only got it because it was well, you know, dirt cheap. Uh, Burnout Dominator, the Burnout games are first class races, as, you, as anyone should know. And Burnout Legends. Uh, Tato um, uh, and 505 Game Street is published by Buster Move Ghost. Um, a bit of a take on the old Buster Move type game with a sort of a, a spooky cutie type theme. Um, Buzz Brain Bender. Um, a lot of these Buzz games are and quiz games on the PSP are quite actually good actually. Um, that's it. Buzz Brain Britain, which I guess is obviously a UK, a UK exclusive. Uh, Buzz Master Quiz, Buzz Quiz World, and Buzz the Ultimate Music Quiz. Okay, that's all the B's. Moving on to the C's. Call of Duty Road to Victory. It's an okay game. Obviously, nothing nowhere near as good or as capable as the ones on the. Xbox 360 or PS3, but then it wouldn't be, would it? Um, Capcom Classics Reloaded. Um, these, this is a new and sealed copy, and I don't need to go through what all the games are on this, but it's, it's you know with some of the best classic um, Capcom games, obviously, and some more on the remix version as well, and some more on Capcom Puzzle World too. And uh, this game is by IDOS. It's supposed to be quite uh, quite good, um, cheeky type, running gun type shooter. Um, Chili Con Carnage. I guess if you like a film Desperado, you probably like that. Uh, Konami's Coded Arms. 
Uh, these are highly re got good reviews, although um, and they're not prettiest looking games in terms of graphics. Coded Arms Contagion as well. Alright, Classic R uh, Rally Racing, uh, Conor McRae Rally 2005 Plus, and Conor McRae Dirt 2. Okay, um, Crash Tag Team Racing. I think there's another one or two other Crash games I've got to get. Uh, Crazy Taxi Fair Wars. Classic uh, game. Okay, Dante's Infernal. Or Inferno, well, but not Infernal. Um, obviously, it's a similar to Gods of War type game. Uh, not got around to playing this, I'll probably play it on a PS3 to give them a choice there. Although a lot of the Gods of War and that sort of game do play while they were on a PSP to be honest. Uh, Darkstalkers um, Chronicles of Chaos Tower, this was one of the first games I got when a PSP came out and uh, yeah it's a classic Capcom 2D fighting, fighting game, it's um, really good. Uh, Dave Mira B BMX Challenge Okay, Deadhead Fred. Now this is an interesting looking game. It sort of reminds me of Rob um, Stubbs the Zombie type thing. Um, yeah, I have not gone around to playing it though, but uh, I will do it at some point. Dead or Alive Paradise, based on the Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball series. Um, it did live on the Xbox, was alright, the original, but I think the rest of them have been pretty poor. poor. Uh, Dead to Rights Reckoning. Right, Death Junior and Death Junior Root of Evil, the second one. Okay, uh, Death Jam Fight for New York. This game, I think, actually, um, it's, it's, it's uh, good reviews and it's quite sought after this one, actually, I, I believe. Okay, um, Despicable Me 2. Um, another game that's uncommon, really. Um, you would have thought they would have sold tons of these, but it's one you don't see that often in the wild. Okay, um, original Diabolic Sin. Uh, so I made pictures up in my last pickup video. On a PSP, this is very, very uncommon. Disney's Parts of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Um, it's not a bad game actually, it's got a few puzzle elements, it's, it's, it's okay, it's better than what you, what you might, think, might have thought. Okay, Parts of the Caribbean, uh, At the World's End. And Disney's Ratatouille. I've not played that. Uh, Disney Toy Story 3, probably. And Disney Tron Evolution. Uh, it looks actually quite good that game, but, but I've not got around to give it a try. Disney Up. Um, if there's anything oh, I like a movie, it's bound to be good. Wally. Uh, I've given this a go on the PS3. It's it's nothing special. It's okay. Okay. Um, I think this is like a, a tactical RPG type fighting game. Uh, Dragon is Aria. Driver series, uh, Driver 76, obviously set in the 70s. Dungeon Siege, one of the Dungeon Siege games with Throne of Agony. This is one that came out on the PS3, a sort of. Um, a strategy type top top down top, top down game, and another strategy sort of tactics game, Dungeons and Dragons Tactics. Um, not got, I will probably, I'll, I'll probably will enjoy that. I've got round to it. I've played the Lord of Rings tactics games. And I love those. So I should like that too. Okay, this is a good combination. Uh, it's got a lot of old EA games. 
It's got um, it's called EA Replay. It's well worth picking up if you see it. It's got Wing Commander, um, Desert Strike and Jungle Strike, Mutant League Football, um, quite a few other games. The Road Rash games, one, two, and three, um, and a few, quite a few others. Um, the Haunting game, starring Polter Guy. So yeah, if, obviously if you see it cheap, definitely pick that one up. EA Sports Fight Night Round 3. Uh, it's just a football game. B football bo boxing game, I got cheap. Uh, okay, this is a, a sort of geometric physics type game. Uh, Eco Chrome. Um, I'm not giving it a go actually, but it looks um, very different. Every Boys Golf, um, yeah, those are fun. And sequel. And they did a tennis ver version, Every Boys Tennis. Oh, the iPad. This is a box complete one that has the, the eye camera. Um, yeah, quite, um, quite a different. Quite a unique, different game really with Virtual Pet. Also have that on the PS3. Family Guy with a video game. Uh, I um, got stuck towards the end of this game. A bit frustrating the mechanics and the moves, but yeah, could have been so good that one. Okay, this is supposed to be quite good, very good reviews. Fat Princess Fist for Cake. Um, I think it's a cutie type platformer. Or, no, open world type platformer. Uh, Fever 2008. You know about the Wild Effect 2008 games. That's the year my daughter was born in. Uh, Fever Street 2. Okay, some of the Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 4, I think the Final Fantasy 3 only came out on the DS, um, did come out on the PS3 I think. And that features uh, Final Fantasy 4 in the after years. Uh, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy 7. And the UMD movie, Final Fantasy 7 Advent of Children. I know it's not technically a game, but put it together. Dissidia, Final Fantasy. It's like a, basically a, a 2D type um, fighting version of Final Fantasy, I suppose. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, War of the Lions. Okay, Fired Up. Uh, a sort of an aggressive road rage type racing type game. Flat out head on. Similar sort of thing, but less guns. Uh, Formula One Grand Prix. I do like, like some of my Formula One games. Not everyone does, but I do. Formula One 2006. Again, these are dirt cheap these days. Ford um, Street Racing Duel. Uh, LA one. Okay, modern take of Fogger. Fogger Helmet. Helmet Chaos. Uh, a Konami game. Um, it's supposed to be quite good. From Russia with Love, 2000, um, 007. And last but not least, Four Auto 2 Battle Lines, the Sega game. Another racing type game with machine guns. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Uh, I'll, um, like I said, there'll be another two videos looking at my PSP collection. I uh, hope you stay with it all, and by all means, uh, leave comments, thumbs up, and by all means, hopefully, you'll tune into the next video. So, until then, take care, bye!